Hi, I'm Charlie from the Royal Parks Mission Invertebrate, a project that is helping people to discover, celebrate and protect the important invertebrates that call London's Royal Parks home. I'm going to be showing you how to make a simple solitary bee hotel. We will be using some tools today, so do make sure that you have an adult with you if you're making this project. In the UK, we have more than 240 species of solitary bee, and they are fantastic pollinators. But unlike the honeybee and bumblebees, they don't live together in nests. Instead, they, live, they lay their eggs in burrows in the ground or in holes in wood. So our bee hotel is going to provide some important habitats for some solitary bees to lay their eggs. Solitary bee hotels can come in many different shapes and sizes, but I'm going to be showing you how to make a simple one using some basic materials. So what do we need to get started? I'm using some untreated wood. You can also use logs, but make sure that there are no cracks or splits running through the logs, as this may increase the risk of pests. We'll also need a saw, a drill, with drill bits ranging in diameter from 2mm to 10mm, some sandpaper, a flat piece of wood for a roof, and some screws and a screwdriver. Cut the wood to the length that you want it. You don't want to cut it too long, or the bottom of the hotel might become too exposed to rain. Next, draw some holes in the wood, ranging in size from the big 10mm holes, which could be used by some of our larger bees, down to 2mm, which may be used by some of our smaller bees, such as the harebell carpenter bee, if you have any harebells near where you live. Leave a space in between the holes to avoid the wood breaking. We don't want to drill all the way through to the other side of the wood, but try to make the holes as deep as possible. Now bees aren't going to want any rough edges or splinters to the entrance to their hotels, so you can use some sandpaper to smooth out the cut holes. And then, attach a roof that extends out over the front of your hotel to keep the holes dry. Finally, attach a new hotel to a wall or tree at least one metre above the ground, facing south or southeast so it gets full sun. Female solitary bees will find your hotel in the spring and summer, and once they've laid their eggs inside, they will seal up the holes with bits of mud or a leaf door. Baby larvae will then hatch out of their eggs and eat pollen and nectar that their mother has left for them, and they will emerge as adults the following year. So thank you for watching, we hope you have fun making your bee hotels, and don't forget to check out the Mission Invertebrate website for more resources, and follow us on social media.